For years, my clients and colleagues have said to me that they just need a Rosie in their pocket. What they mean by that is reminders to bring them back to tools and resources that can help them be better in the moment, and a voice that challenges their thinking and encourages them to live their best and most fulfilled life. I always took it as a compliment and had a good chuckle about it. And after so much feedback and prompting, I have decided to bring Rosie in my pocket to life. Small doses of learning and inspiration to guide you through this journey of life. Here's the teaching and inspiration that I want to share with you today. How effective are you at paying attention to and leveraging your body wisdom? You know, our bodies talk to us so often, yet so often we ignore it. That can be something as simple as having a gut feel about something, but then ignoring it. I've actually had numerous conversations lately with leaders who, you know, they were interviewing somebody, bringing them in and everything seemed great, but there was just something in their gut that told them this isn't right. And then it revealed itself to be accurate within a very short time frame. like, oh, I should have listened. And I hear this so often that we get disconnected from our bodies and when they're talking to us and trying to give us important information. And our bodies can also be an important source of wisdom to say, gosh, I'm feeling really tense. I need to slow down. Or you know what? Maybe I need rest and need to not be pushing through. So it can be that spidey sense or gut feel, but also can be our bodies telling us you need to rest or you need to take some time or you need to think about this. And I know I have been completely guilty of this, of pushing through and ignoring it, thinking, oh, I'll just get something done. And then I get sicker or I regret it. And this is something that I think more of us can be better at is slowing down, pausing, and paying attention to what are our bodies trying to tell us about a situation, about what we need for self-care. And so my invitation and my challenge for you this week is to be a diligent participant in your body, right? Listen to your body. Take it as a source of wisdom. What is it trying to tell you? It might tell you, hey, there's something off. I need to have this conversation. There's something I'm avoiding. There's a growth opportunity. And instead of shying away from it or pushing through or ignoring it, lean in with curiosity. See what your body is trying to tell you and use that as a guide to reflect, be more self-aware, and hopefully move forward with greater intention. I would love to hear what opens up for you as you put this one into practice. And remember, when we get better and more effective at leveraging our body wisdom, it's going to give us more opportunities to let our sparkle shine. I'm so grateful to be on your leadership journey with you. And even though I'm not physically in your pocket, I certainly cherish the opportunity to share my heart and learnings to help you. If this message inspired you today, I'd love to hear from you or gift me a review on Apple Podcasts. Be well, my friends, and now go add a little sparkle to your day.